Hi, this is Jyoti from BIMES. In my last tutorial, I have explained how you can restore the project from the automatic backups. In this tutorial, I will explain you how you can take the complete server backup, including the users, libraries, all the project and project categories, in few steps. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Here you can see this is the Archicad wiki where they have explained the steps to take the complete BIM server backup and restore. So I am going to put this in a simple video because if uh, users try this one, you may get some error message when you are using these commands. So now I am going to show you how you can restore or backup your complete server including all the project information. So first in case of Mac, you will go to the terminal and you can see now the user is Jyoti. So you can't run it from a user account you should go to the root account so to go to the root account you just type sudo space iphone s and then it will ask the password so enter your mac password which is admin password and now done so now the simple step is first you should give the location of the bim server backup tool and then the location where you want the projects to be stored so in my case I have the folder where this is the place where I want all the back server should be backed up and then another folder where the teamwork backup tool is as you know by default where you install the BIM server you can see the BIM server then server modules then 1500 teamwork server and under this you can see teamwork server backup tool so now we have to locate this over here so I am just going to get info so you don't need to type this address you can just copy this address from here command C and then before you gave the path you should use colon then type the path now again I want this name to be included in this so you should give the full path of the BIM server backup tool then you have to give space and then your target so this is my target again I go to get info I just copy this one and paste it then slash and this is the folder right. and here you can see I have used the codes because here you can see the BIM space server so if your folder contains a space in between the names then you should use the colons because here the command is should be separated with the space so don't use any folder which is having the space if the folder is having the space try to give the full path inside the codes so it will it will take the full path as the path of the folder and then the space then your target location so now here you can see there is no space so I can just enter the path and then enter based on number of project you have in the uh, server it will take longer time and it is better that you stop the server so that the files which you are having is in a state where it is not changing in every minute and once the server is backup is done then you will get this message you can see there are four libraries and five projects now if I check this folder so here you can see it's exported and here I have libraries and projects then BIM project categories roles user roles and users and here it creates two folders projects and libraries where all the project and library will be created by giving a unique ID and in the text file it writes the unique ID and the name of the project so from here you can get which project belongs to the corresponding ID same way it creates for the library over here this is the simple way to create your complete BIM server backup and to restore the backup the same way in a new computer where you have the BIM server backup instead of backup you will choose the restore tool 
and then you will define the path where these files are available and the main thing which you have to note when you are creating the backup is first in case of mac you should enter the sudo space iphone as and then you have to enter the password then the location of the BIM server backup tool space and the location where you want the files to be stored so this is a simple take the complete BIM server backup 